Police have warned that when it comes to COVID-19 restrictions, no one is above the law. Toowoomba North MP Trevor Watts and two police officers have learned that lesson the hard way after they were caught gathering in a suburban street. Trevor Watts walking in shame, red-faced but apologetic. I made a mistake. I have to own that mistake and take responsibility for that mistake. His mistake, thinking it's OK to have a street party with 14 neighbours at a time when only 10 can attend a funeral. While Trevor plays the blatant COVID breach down... On the weekend, um, my immediate neighbours and I were in the garden. We arranged to catch up for a drink at the uh, end of the day uh, on our um, boundaries. The police commissioner has evidence of a wilder Sunday afternoon. The QPS will allege that this was more than standing in the driveway and people were actually gathering um, at the end of a cul-de-sac, actually having a street get together. Trevor's neighbour, Kieran, played part in the illegal gathering. Everyone was in their driveways and just saying hello and having a drink together. In fact, it was myself that walked up and stood in the middle of the cul-de-sac because my driveway is right down the bottom. The now former shadow police minister, a senior constable and a sergeant among those having a drink have been policing and preaching the social distancing rules that they all ignored. I am disappointed in those officers, but I think this is a clear message that no one is beyond these directives or the law. Well, this is someone who has, has worked extremely hard. He's made a mistake, he's copped the fine. What's hoping this isn't the end of his political life? I've taken full responsibility uh, for that moment momentary lapse um, and uh, it is time for me to uh, now get on with the job of serving the electorate of Toowoomba North. In breaking news, I have just been sent pictures of this illegal gathering from police. In these images, you can clearly see that this is a full-blown dinner party. Tables and chairs set up, a full dinner spread and even a fire pit to keep them warm. Absolutely no social distancing is being practised. This is a very different picture from the few drinks at the end of his driveway that Trevor painted for us earlier today. Seeing this evidence, it's no surprise that Queensland police are conducting an internal investigation into the behaviour of the officers involved. Andrew, it's just astonishing that the former shadow police minister and two senior police officers responsible for enforcing these regulations breach them in such an inadvertently reckless way. Sophie, thank you.